Hi, David Erdos with poem five from the Covidian Age. The previous poem is about sport, of which I know little. This poem is about theatre, of which I know a fair amount. The comma in the title is important. How dramatic. The great Snoo Wilson would write plays with the fecundity of newspaper. Sweet daily sheaths of invention with convention dispensed by each word. Fire and fun with ideas spun through dimensions as his work featured magicians and demons, wheelbarrowed Christs and pigged earth. I know he would be writing hard now, keen to entertain and enlighten. In great screeds of humour, his sci-fi soap arias that often bristled and burned the lazy mind as it read them. Dear Snoo's firecrackers were a signal flare for word stars. Tragically, Snoo's not here, and neither, of course, is Harold or Hethcote, or for that matter, Ken Campbell. Those vital voices are still what we need to scorch through. Thank God for Carol Churchill. We also have Howard Barker and Bond, but such genius sits neglected. In a blanded age of beige pages, those left to yellow still contain the full truth. You could bite down on their books. Edward Bond's are a banquet, as it is with each writer who chooses to make the living theatre their meat. The men and women now dead or living a death-like retirement from the spotlight, but who still continue to make life's dialogue seem complete. With all theatres closed, this second wave of new plays forms an underground river. On the ripple and run of the water, you will hear imagined lines there beneath. An off-stage, on-stage, in which those who write become swimmers, while those who perform them sit drowning or stand alone on some heath, looking down on the world that cannot be represented. Once you take the art away, there's no mirror to read or recognise our true face. The full voice falls dumb as dancers grow fat in their lounges. Does a blie lose beauty if no one in the house sees its grace? Cameron Mackintosh cancels all as each stage turns to ashtray, gathering dust as have churches, making museums too of the now in which archived art or lives in art are exhibits seen on Zoom by their colleagues or through an imminent moroseness of crowds. Actors, acrobats, stage crews, technicians, front of house cleaners, directors, all can walk now to work only to find each place closed as if you could amputate pure expression. But then, of course, in our bubble, perhaps we can cleanse our hair shirt and start a new theatre outside for just a passing handful of people. Let us now write plays as embraces and choreograph each kept kiss. Let us make shadow play from the former light of lost giants. Let us echo Paul Schofield or Margot Fontaine or Jay-Z or whoever you like, for now the collective crowd can't be captured. So find new means and fresh charges that try to ensure art feels free. It is possible. Change. How can we now be dramatic? By finding the play again. Hell has humour. Why else would it burn? Hearts should bleed. But then hearts must heal. Let us write monologues for one audience member. Duologues for two watching and then on and on. I think of Snoo now at his start in the portable theatre van with David Hare and Howard Brenton. With Nick and Tony Bacat writing music, they made the act of making plays its own song. Words on the wind, notes plucked from air, parks and places. While we wait for ours, these fresh theatres are somewhere for each artistic soul to belong. Meanwhile... We zoom in while keeping one eye to the window. It is possibly reflecting a future. I hear it announced. How dramatic. Life's a sunk circus, but here at last it is rising. Dream curtains shudder, and I hear in my head the ghost gong. David Erdos, June the 19th, 2020.